Hello, everyone. My name is Xi Jiexuan, and I am an algorithm engineer from Alibaba Group. Today, I will talk about our new work, Deep Interest Highlight Network for Click-Through Rate Prediction in Trigger-Induced Recommendation. This is a joint work with my colleagues Hong Wen, Wan Jietao, Jing Zhang, Fu Yulu, Zhu Longchen, and Zhao Li. User interest is often multi-peak in traditional recommender system. Users can only receive information in a passive manner, lacking of instant feedback mechanism for interacting with the systems. So, we always recommend product based on users' multi-peak interest, such as Guess You Like module in Taobao app. However, Users sometimes may intend to actively access more related items with the clicked item just now. For example, in our online scenario app, Alipay, multiple cards with each three recommended items are displayed first as shown in figure 1a. Then, once an item is clicked, a new page called Item Feeds Flow Page, IFFP, will be triggered and displayed as shown in Figure 1b, where the clicked item just now, called Trigger Item, is always located at the first position, highlighted by the rectangle, and other items are recommended accordingly. Next, if users click one interested item Within an FFP, the correspondingly detailed page will be displayed as shown in Figure C, where users can directly purchase or add it into the shopping cart. We refer to this recommendation scenario within an FFP as TIR scenario, which has become ubiquitously and popular in commerce platforms. In this paper, we present a new recommendation problem, trigger-induced recommendation, where users' instant interest can be explicitly induced with a trigger item, and follow-up related items are recommended accordingly. The similar scenario can also be found in messaging apps, in WeChat top stories, and guess you like module mini detail, and detail page recommendation. In our online app, trigger induced recommendation has already been the standard recommended scenario, serving an essential way for users to enter the detail page for further purchase. Besides, trigger-induced recommendation scenarios has contributed more than 30% of the item page view among all recommendation scenarios for our app, which indicates the significance value of the proposed task and the performance improvements This is a simple expression. Users express their immediate interest by clicking on a product, and then we recommend products for them according to the user's instant interest. As we know, CTR is playing a crucial role in recommendation which aims to predict the probability of users clicking items. Deep Interest Network, the first attention-based work in the CTR area, employs attention mechanism to dynamically reweigh users' historical behaviors with respect to the target item. Deep Interest Evolution Network is further proposed to model users' interest involving process in e-commerce systems. 
despite the effect, we figure out that those measures are not optimal in a trigger-induced recommender due to the discrepancy between TIR and the traditional scenarios. Users probably have multiple interests in their historical behaviors, such as electronics, clothing, and snacks, resulting in diverse items recommended according to non-TIR scenarios. For example, given the category of the trigger item, electronic, it implies that the user is only interested in items related to electronic category at that transit moment. Therefore, if directly employing existing methods such as DIN, the performance will be seriously degraded because they don't explicitly model the instant interest induced by the trigger item. An intuition is that if we can leverage the trigger item to discover users' instant interest, we can recommend more relevant target items that will be probably clicked. However, it is not trivial due to the following two challenges. Challenge 1. Users' instant interest induced from a trigger item are inherently noisy because there are some accidental clicks on wrong item in users' behaviors. How to evaluate users' real intent for the trigger item remains challenging. Challenge 2. Users always show multiple interests from their historical behaviors. However, in TIR scenarios, users usually show their instant interest on the trigger item. Therefore, how to extract the user's interest from their historical behaviors with respect to the clicked trigger item and the target item simultaneously is unexplored. To address these challenges, we propose a novel model named Deep Interest Highlights Network for click-through rate prediction. Especially, it consists of a user intent network, a fusion embedding module, and a hybrid interest extracting module. UIN responds to generate a process probability score to predict user's intent on the trigger item. Fusion embedding module adaptively fuses trigger item and target item embeddings based on the prediction from UIN. For example, with two extreme cases, one is that if users have no any interest on trigger item but only click it carefully, the results of FEM will degrade to the target item embedding. The other is that if users have exactly intense interest on the trigger item, the FEM will degrade to the trigger item embedding. Actually, the result predicted by UIN reflects the intensity of users' instant interest, which is leveraged in FEM to fuse both embeddings in an adaptively manner for better users' interest extraction. In addition, HIEM can effectively highlight users' direct interests from their behaviors by leveraging two kinds of modeling paradigms named soft sequential modeling and hard sequential modeling. SSM adaptively extracts the representation vector of users' interests by taking into consideration the relevance of, of historical behaviors with respect to the FEM. Well, HSM brought in the idea of hard search module from SIM 
firstly select the behaviors with the same category as the trigger item, and then aggregate these behaviors as a sub-behavior sequence, followed by employing it to capture users' corresponding interests. Finally, all the representation features are concatenate with several raw context features and fed into fully connected layers to generate the final prediction results. To demonstrate the effectiveness and the superiority of DIHN, we compare it with several representative SOTA methods in TIR scenarios, which can be grouped into two categories. Group 1, methods without explicitly modeling users' instant interests. Classical models are WDL, DeepFM, and DIN, which don't include information from the trigger item, which shows them in detail. Group 2, methods with explicitly modeling users' instant interest. As aforementioned, there are two prior works in TIR. Thus, we equip some SOTA CTR models with the capacity of utilizing the trigger item for fair and solid comparison. The experimental comparison results also reveal that explicitly utilizing user instant interest in TIR scenario can achieve the best CTR prediction. And DIHN also achieves significant gains in group 2, which further demonstrates the effectiveness of our method. We also did some ablation study for our work, and the results also shows the effectiveness of the model we proposed. Finally, we gave some case study to show the effectiveness. Taking the travel scenario as an example, we present two real-world cases showing figure below. When user A comes into the TIR scenarios, the UIN module predicts A's intent score for the trigger item, an item for Hainan province, as 0.93, which indicates the user has intense interest on item related to Hainan province. Therefore, more products related to Hainan or similar scenic sports will be recommended to satisfy the user's instant retention, as shown in figure. Different from the user A, user B has rare Hainan province related behaviors. Therefore, the intent score on the trigger item predicted by UIN module is very low. Such condition indicates user B has divergent interest and the recommender system in IFFP should recommend less item related to Hainan province. As can be seen from the above two cases, DIHN can seamlessly adjust the suitable recommendation mode based on the user's instant interest on the trigger item. In conclusion, we propose a brand new recommendation problem named Trigger Induced Recommendation, which poses new challenges beyond existing recommender system. And we propose a new CTR model named DIHN for TIR scenarios, which can learn more expressive user interest representation and achieve more precise CTR prediction based on three carefully devised components. We also conduct extensive experiments on the real-world offline data size, 
and the results demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed DIHN than representative SOTA solutions. It is notable that DIHN has been deployed in our online recommender systems and delivers significant improvements, further confirming its value in industry applications. That's all. Thank you.